What's going on everyone, Manish here and in this video we're gonna take a look at on how to get the Netflix running on your Ubuntu or your Linux Mint operating system. So let's get started. So in order to get the Netflix running on your Ubuntu or your Linux Mint operating system, the first thing which you want to do over here is that you need to pull up a terminal and we're going to add a PPA onto the repository. So that is done by tapping in sudo apt add repository and the PPA is going to be PPA colon ehover slash comfolio. And by the way, all the commands that are related to this video will be in the description. So just go ahead and, you know, copy it and paste it onto your terminal. So now let me just go ahead and, you know, tell you this particular command, what it as well as to tell you what it really does. So in Ubuntu or in any other debate based operating system, if in case you want to install any of the application, there has to be a source from where it has to be installed. So in this case, we are going to install Netflix and this is the source from where it is, you know, getting installed. And we are basically adding this particular source onto the repository. And if in case you guys don't know what a repository is, it's basically a collection of all the sources, which are also called as PPAs. So once you've got this particular command pasted, hit on enter. It's going to ask you for the password, uh, you know, type in your password and then hit on enter again. So once you've got the PPA added to the repository, we're going to refresh or update our repository by typing in this particular command over here. That is sudo apt get update. So this is going to update our repository. So once you've got the repository updated, we're going to install the Netflix software by typing in sudo apt get install Netflix desktop so this is going to install the Netflix software for us so once you've got your Netflix software installed close your terminal and go to the dash and type in Netflix And click on the icon which says Netflix desktop over here. And then click on install. So now what it is doing is that it is installing some of the packages which are needed to run the Netflix software. So wait till it gets installed. So once you're done with that, you're going to install the second package that is Wine Gecko install. So just go ahead and click on the install button over here. So once you've got everything installed, go to the dash and type in Netflix and click on the Netflix icon over here. And that should basically, you know, get the Netflix application up and running for you. So now as you can see over here, the Netflix is up and running. And now let me just go ahead and log in with my Netflix ID and password to demonstrate that it actually works. So now as you can see over here, the Netflix is, uh, you know, it has successfully logged me in and I can watch any of the movies which I want. I don't want to play any movies because I don't want to get into the copyright issues then. So I'll be quitting it for now. And on a side note, uh, whenever you play a movie in Netflix for the first time, you might get, a, you know, a, 
a window regarding the Microsoft SolarLight DRM. So just click on the enable button which you can find in the same window and everything should be just fine. So that's it guys, hope you guys have really liked this video and if you have got any queries or questions just post it below or go to my Facebook fan page and post your questions over there. So, so that's it for now and I'll see you guys in the next video.